just moving on to the next point uh how did you prove that your uh english was good because that uh, that's actually what parents and schools uh look for uh, yeah like not not a native speaker but a person who can speak well and uh, right. whose pronunciation is like neutral right so so pretty much what you want to do is let's say you got a job uh, at the training center or at the kindergarten or the primary school uh once you have that job once you have that one year a uh, one year contract work hard you know what i mean like you show up early leave late make sure parents see that make sure directors see that support provide extra resources for the parents right like at the end of the week hey you know there is some like pdf books for you to uh read at home have a great week you know work hard like show that you care at the end of the day um you have to prove to a child that you are a good teacher the best proof that you're a good teacher is the child coming home and saying hey mommy you know teacher eugene like oh i love that teacher he's great we're having fun and then child says some words like speaks some sentences that's the proof right that's the proof work is your oh proof God. that's the only thing you can do yeah so this is just the best approach probably and oh, this oh, is yeah. the kind of attitude uh every uh, non-native and native speaker um should have because yeah. um in my the, just judging from my experience yeah. i met so many native speakers who just uh came into a classroom uh just doing some stupid things like yeah. singing um twinkle twinkle little star during the like whole day. Yeah. yeah yeah and that was just nothing um and but still uh because they they were native um yeah. they they were judged slightly different yeah. well the problem is so so um the uh so china overlooked that case right for example they let natives in without um with, without having to have a degree right like for example a few years back if you have a blue passport from let's say us or canada you are welcome but then nobody said hey have you been involved in uh, education like, have you taught at all like no one asked those questions right so when teacher shows up in the classroom has no clue how to classroom management like none of that right so the classes are terrible kids understand nothing the pace of the speech right they cannot slow it down they cannot make themselves clear so kids make no progress parents can see that like whoa what's going on like i can i understand that john is from states but like I mean, my child learns nothing it, it doesn't understand what's going on now so chinese parents chinese schools they do understand it now so that being from native speaking country it's not enough like you need to be an educator you need to have uh you need to have a training you know what i mean you need to have a training in order to be in the classroom that's what it comes down to yeah just a quick remark uh guys if you are not uh, if you are native speakers uh don't think we uh, just blame you for that uh it's it's just great but the point is everyone uh must be educated and uh experienced in the field because it's just not enough uh to be uh from somewhere uh it's also about your um qualifications and experience all right like i mean uh if the, any natives like i want to address you guys like i mean we, it's it's not like we're trying to uh um, you, you know uh, underestimate like your uh, capabilities or whatever what i was saying like we have uh we have people from non-native countries that are just embarrassing right just embarrassed you know the entire nation or whatever it happens to it happens to all of us right and i guess what i'm trying to say is that um in china they do value the formal education of, like before you enter the classroom right so be, be involved in early childhood or primary they need that training they need that training regardless of where you're coming from all right just uh also want to uh say that there are many people from different places uh around the world like from pakistan right now uh yeah. illinois uh california and haiti it's so cool to know that we are global and thank you guys for coming to this session uh we we just appreciate it and uh we hope that um this life is going to be um valuable and you'll find it helpful uh somehow so thanks a lot for joining us
and uh, as as for myself and Eugene, uh, we um, we are in different places right now. I'm like in Russia, and Eugene is uh, in China. Uh, and w by the way, if you have just joined us, uh, we are talking about uh, China and all stuff related to uh, to it. Eugene um, has has been working there since. 2015 uh so if you're interested in this country and in working there just stay with us and you'll find everything you need okay um all right so let's move on to the thanks so much for watching we are ittt the leading provider for tefl and tsol training courses if you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.